What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Today we're going to talk about Kyle Hendricks because he did not do well yesterday. And it was really this fifth inning, disaster inning against the White Sox. And we're just going to break it down. What happened? You know, what's really going on with Kyle Hendricks? Uh, if you don't know his repertoire, as always, go over it really quickly. It's about an 87 mile per hour sinker with a changeup and a curveball. The changeup has been the better pitch over time. He increased his curveball usage last year. He hasn't really stuck around this year. Um, but it's about command. If he has command, he's able to put sinkers where he wants with good movement. It's how he gets guys out. And clearly something went wrong yesterday. So we're going to figure out what. Uh, and here is the fifth inning now. First pitch, that's a sinker. And I got to love the Chicago White Sox broadcast. They tell you what it is on, on the thing. This is right on the edge, too. I mean, that's... This is pretty great. You can see how much movement this thing has. You know, it flies this way and comes back. Is a proper sinker in that way. So that's a very good first pitch. Tries to, tries to throw a curve, but he's trying to do free real estate on it. Doesn't quite get it. I, uh, You know, that actually messes up Hendricks a lot. I don't think he's the kind of guy that's going to throw two in a row here. Um, say, like, oh, I messed up the last one, but I'll throw one for a strike now. And that kind of allows... Uh, Vaughn at this point to say, okay, it's going to be either a fastball or a changeup. And he does go inside. And I really like this. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit... Um, generally, you want that changeup down here instead of up and in. But honestly, starting away and then coming back in, playing the east-west game, especially with the curveball also missing down here, hasn't really thought of anything inside. Uh, way out in front. That's 81 on a changeup. And Vaughn just slaps it down the line. Cannot stay back long enough. So you can see that, yeah, he is cheating ahead a little for the heater. You might be able to throw a changeup down here again, and you'll probably have him on his front foot. Uh, or you can try and do a backdoor sinker and play that in-out game. So he tries to do the changeup down and away, get him on the front foot. He does get him on the end of the bat. I mean, you can see the, this is a really good pitch. Uh, you can kind of see um, how much he's leaning out. Uh, he does almost get there. It's really close. This isn't actually where contact is. It's a little bit later, so it's not. It's actually farther away from the barrel on, uh, on contact. But uh, this isn't a bad swing. Um, the better one would be to push this to to right field, generally down away. You want to go with the ball. But uh, Vaughn got kind of close on it, uh, but he just got it off the end of the bat. As as Hendricks got his first out of the inning, and that hey, that that works. Sinker away. Sure, you didn't execute the curveball, but then he went inside, then back away. Change up two, not the sinker, still in the front foot, got the out. All that stuff works. Hey, this ain't so bad, Kyle Hendricks. This should work. So you have a four-seamer. Why a four-seamer? Because a two-seamer will go too far off the plate, and he's trying to, you know, he's trying to throw a strike at this point. If it's a sinker, then that's a strike. That means it's a strike for so long uh, that, you know, it's just, just going to stay on that ball. Brian Goodman is just going to push that to left field every time. So he has to throw a four-seamer there, which makes a lot of sense. Um, normally, Hendricks will save a sinker for inside to, uh, to lefties. Now, keep in mind, against a, a right-hander, Hendricks can throw sinkers to both sides, right? It's a fastball that starts off the plane, comes back over, uh, away. If it's a two-seamer inside, that's really good. Their sinker inside, then it starts inside corner, and then goes off the plane inside. And that's great. Against the lefties, though, he can't quite do the same thing. They're not going to swing as much to that fastball. starts and the plane goes off. And he wants to throw a strike right now. So you got to throw a four-seamer away to right-handers. So now he can come inside with that sink. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, he tries to do a four-seamer, though. That's interesting. Um, coming inside like this, normally we see Hendricks do the, the comeback over. But he wanted to get up and in and jam him and keep it consistent. Uh, missed that one. That's a bad miss. He's got to hit that one. It's now 1-1. One, one. Uh, you could throw that sinker. You don't really – like the curveball isn't as effective right now against the lefty. Uh, he's trying to get that spot with the four-seamer overcorrected. And I kind of like this. You know, a lot of times with younger pitchers, when they make a mistake, they don't adjust enough. Uh, they try and do the same thing again and don't really think about it. Uh, and then what happens is that you just make the same mistake twice. In this one, Hendricks threw up here, and now he's over here. And he's actually adjusting. He overcorrected. But I love seeing that. I love seeing pitchers actually make the change and uh, you know make the adjustment pitch by pitch can actually do those little tweaks while on the mound. I think that's a really awesome sign of a guy that clearly has good command, which Hendricks generally does. So that's a really good changeup. Awesome pitch. 2-1. Good one's just hoping to get a good fastball to drive at this point. This is a changeup. Uh, sorry, this is a strike for so long. 
It's debatably a strike. I mean, it's off the plate. You can see the circle's out of it, but that's just so close. Uh, so he gets a swing from Goodwin, gets a foul ball. That's an awesome, awesome pitch from Hendricks. And yeah, now, now he's going to go up and in, playing the you know playing the East West game. It's over three, and that's a cool one because that's a sinker as opposed to the four seamer. He's trying to sneak it in from Goodwin. So Goodwin saw two four seamers that were straight inside. So then he, Hendricks like, look, it's going to appear to be that four seamer, but actually it's going to come back over the plate. But he doesn't command it, so he's over three now, trying to get that upper quadrant. And now it's a tough call here. Do you throw a changeup down away? Do you try and go for a fourth time here? Do you throw a curveball? I'm curious what he throws. Oh, man. 0 for 4. 0 for 4. That's not a good sign from Hendricks. Right? He tried to make some adjustments, but going 0 for 4 is really weird for Hendricks trying to hit a spot. Uh, that, that's certainly a sign of he's not quite right at the moment. And it's another lefty here. So he's got a chance. He's doing a sinker this time, but this is why you do the four-seamer. Because four seamer before hit a strike. Sinker fell off the plate, and that's ball one. So now 1 0. Was he going to go with curveball? What, what are you going to do? Okay, went with another sinker, and. All right, got the out. Good job. This is not a good pitch. I mean, this is incredibly hittable. This looks like a strike all the way through. Uh, it's not like it starts here and goes back over. No, this is a strike, strike, strike all the way. Garcia. Just got on uh, on top of this one. And you can see also it was a hit and run. You can see uh, the catcher wants to go up and, and, and swat this or throw this to uh, second. But uh, you, got a, you got away with one. There you go. All right, fine. You have two outs now. Your command hasn't been as good as you want it to be, but just throw one more good pitch and hopefully you roll into an out and that's that. Man, 0 for 5 now. Trying to go up and in against a uh, lefty with uh, with a fastball. That's not it. You got to throw something else. You got to throw a changeup at this point. Get him out of that rhythm. Yeah, there's a changeup right. Sailing up. Uh, I I would still try. I mean, maybe try a curveball. Just try something else to get you like confident uh, that you have your release point. Man, that ooh, so you hate seeing that. And why that specifically that one? It's exactly the same mistake as the previous one, right? I talked about the fastball before. That was a little different. He's making adjustments. That one, he isn't. And at this point, you have two outs. You do have an open base. You know, it's a 3-1 game. It's the fifth inning. The mentality as a pitcher is like, look, like, I don't want to give in here. I don't want to give an easy pitch to hit so that I actually get burned here. I'd rather take my chances on getting the next guy as everything's sailing up with Hendricks, which generally means uh, that his arm is lagging behind in some way. That means he essentially can't get out in front and finish the release to get down. Uh, he's slightly off with that timing. So I would try, if I, were, if I were the catcher, I would try to call something low just to, just to get him doing that because everything's sailing up, up, up right now. So first pitch here, as he's still, oh, what are you swinging at? What a gift. What a gift. I feel like it's that, you know, that, that Lord of the Rings gift at this point. Like, oh, it is a gift. That That's not a strike at all at any point here. <laughs> that's starting here and falling down here. I Another mistake from Hendricks. He's trying to get this in on the hands down here. But, hey, you got your strike. And you see that this is an aggressive at bat. You should probably throw a curveball or a changeup instead. Oh, and he hits him. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if he's come out to meet with him yet, but this is this is rough right now. I mean, I mean we haven't seen a, a fastball that's perfectly spotted since the first batter. Actually, I would say the second batter, the uh, the good win four seamer on the edge, but something's going on here, uh, and he's just so out of rhythm. You got to give him a moment to to recalibrate in some way. You have bases loaded, two outs, and the Brayu is up. Throw something different. You haven't thrown the curveball. You threw one that you bounced, but just something that's different so that you have to, you know, not get into the rhythm of bad things. Like, try and reset uh, with some other pitch. And that's a sinker that, yes, he threw a strike, but this needs to be up here. Falling down into this quadrant is right where the barrel is. Breu is so good, and he's able to get the bat quickly to this. That's too hittable. 
especially with the bases loaded, you are a, a power hitter. You want a fastball to drive. That is it. That is the pitch you're, you're looking for. Oh, almost caught too. That that honestly was a lot closer than I thought. So that that jumps over the fence. It's five to one. It's the same thing here. Throw a first pitch curveball. Throw something else that's not a fastball. Oh, and he's he's ready to go. He's so excited. Eloy's like, I want to jump in on this parade. Uh, not the best pitch again. I mean, I guess it jammed him up and in, but this doesn't look like a strike at all. Eloy should not be swinging at it. But it, all right, you got a strike again. And he's swinging at that. They all want to swing at this. You throw a big curveball here. And he doesn't have it. That's actually a really good pitch. This comes in here and goes away to a changeup. Eloy is way out in front. He's trying his best to stay back. But that front foot is down early here. This is too early. He's trying to time it. Ah, oh, it's close. But he's just not thinking. He's thinking more inside. He's leaning. He's lunging too far out. Not quite there, but that's good. That's good for Hendricks. Good execution on that uh, to get that second strike. I would be throwing a curveball here. Oh, man. This is not good. I, I don't know the result. Yeah, I assume it's going far. <laughs> Supposed to be inside. You just threw something away. He's already now looking away. And he just goes the other way with it. And, uh, and that's it. You can't, you can't make 0-2 pitches like this. This is so unbelievably hittable. 88 just kind of grooved in there. And that's the real story here. Hendricks did not have his command at all. Uh, a fastball command is everything for Hendricks. It sets up the changeup and didn't even have the curveball. You know, he threw that one that he bounced earlier in the inning. And, you know, he needs that mix-up pitch every so often, too. Did not have that. You got to be better than that. Um, the one low pitch was, you know, that, that sinker here. I mean, threw maybe two changeups down here, too. Those were good. Nothing down here, though. And that's actually really important for Hendricks, especially with the changeup. You want this to be a strike and the fallout. Um, a good amount. Did not have confidence in that. I mean, 0-2, that's what you would normally throw here. This is supposed to be something that goes in, and maybe he's just trying to get a ground out, take advantage of that swing over here before. But, yeah, not not good. Not good for Hendricks. This wasn't just bad luck. This was bad command. Uh, and that's going to happen. That's the margin of error that you have as Kyle Hendricks when you throw 88-87. So you have to have good command. He didn't have it this time. He gets the Pirates next. Hopefully he's much better there. But, Hopefully you can understand what separates a guy like Hendricks uh, when it's not working from when it is working. And yeah, that was that was just bad command. So that's going to do it for today. That's the disastrous inning of Kyle Hendricks. Uh, you should watch this live every single weekday morning, 9 to 11 a.m. on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pitcherlist. And of course, check out our entire site, NPL Plus, and all that fun stuff for all your pitching and baseball needs. But that's going to do it for today. So as always, may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.